Good afternoon, this is a video from Aquas Pumante um, and this is really to discuss and explain some of the design features of the types C, D and um, early streamline models of soda siphons all produced by sparklets and this is to cover those that are both made in the UK and um, some of those made in the US. So what we've got in front of you is a type D siphon, a type C siphon and a streamline from about the 19 mid 30s to early 40s um, which is the British streamline because it has a chrome plated um, spout. The American streamline models um, generally had a plastic cover over the spout but were essentially otherwise identical in design. <coughs> so what we've got on the, the mat here is um, a number of soda siphon heads in various states of being dismantled. So here we've got, this is a type C key. So this is the type that would have originally been issued with the type C soda siphon. But just out of interest, it does also fit on the type D. And here we are, type D, quite usable. Nice heavyweight piece of zinc die cast. It also fits on the streamline and obviously the C-type siphons and it fits on both the American and the British soda siphons. Um, <coughs> so what are we going to show? Right, so one of the key features of the um, type D that wasn't present in the type C was the introduction of a non-return valve in the head of the type D and the non-return valve was located roughly in there. So what we've had done is we've had a type D and I think I'll zoom in there. All right, type D head sectioned and this is to show the various features. And I've got the other far half over here which is probably a little bit clearer. So what we can see, let's zoom in a bit further, in there is, this is where the socket where the um, bulb neck seal fits. And on top of that would go a knurled ring, sorry ring like that to hold everything in. Underneath that, in that recess here, is where the piercing pin and um, the rest of the assembly goes. So what we've got here is a piercing pin. Here we are, whoops. Piercing pin with its associated spring. That fits in there and then screwed from inside the head is this seal screw <laughs> and that fits in there through the spring and it's held in place like that and what we'll do is we'll just take that out and we'll just show you. I'll zoom in a bit further. And what you can see here is just there. I don't know whether you can see it. That is where the ceiling face exists. And there's a rubber ring inside the ceiling screw at the base of it, which actually sits on that face and seals the water and carbon dioxide in once the uh, uh, carbon dioxide capsule has been taken out. Right. And this feature 
was passed on to um, the later, slightly later streamlined models. This is one which has been partially dismantled <coughs> and then carried over it yet again into. Let's zoom out of here. Into the streamlines which had plastic heads. So that part there, which looks like that and features in there, that was carried over into the plastic headed, the early, earlier plastic headed streamline models. So, um, what we'll also show is how I won't zoom in here again. Maybe you can see in there. That's the stub of the lever arm, which moves the piston seal up and down in there. So we'll also show that. So what you can see in here is the channel in which the piston seal fits. And again, there's another circular valve seal in there, which the plunger actually fits onto. So what we've got here, uh, a bit. what we've got here is a plunger, which the O-ring, which normally would sit in there, and the pad seal has been taken out, ready to be reconditioned. So how this would have fitted inside, it would have been put in from the top before the arm was there, but I think you can ignore that. And it goes like that, basically. So if we zoom in, we can just show it operating. So the little lever lifts it up and down like that in there. And the pad seal on the end here rests on top of that seal and there would have been a spring which went in oops can't quite fit it together here but i think you can imagine what would have happened this seal this some spring sorry fits on top of there and is compressed and held in place by the copper cap so when you rebuild it you have to compress that spring and apply copper camp and crimp it all down with this spring which is quite strong hold it all in place but I think you can see here when I operate it that it basically just goes up and down lifts the piston seal up and down to allow the soda water to come out over the top of that um, Sorry about that little break, um, but my battery ran out on my camera. Anyway, here it is again. So what have we got? Here we've got a type D head, and here is the piston, piston piece moving up and down, and that's what will be actuated by the lever on the outside. So you can see the lever is actually moving it like that. That's how it does it. And there would have been the spring on top, which pushes it down against the force of the carbon dioxide pressure and water pressure, trying to force that up. Quite ingenious. Anyway, that gives you an explanation of how it all works. So when we uh, recondition one of these we take out this well cut cuts the copper cap off the top here carefully cut that off that allows you to take the spring out then the rivet here and that's drilled out that allows you to take the piston piece out 
the piston piece we take the, the very heavily degraded pad out of the end and replace the, the o-ring in there with the correct size and similarly um, with this we take the ring out of here that's unscrewed allows you to take this part out which is the bulb neck seal as it's frequently called so that would have gone in there like that that allows you to get hold get to the piercing pin and retaining spring in there and that's squeezed down and held in place by this screw which goes from the inside of the head in there like so that has to be unscrewed from inside whilst this is held in place and there's a special tool for that so we can take that out that can be reused usually there's nothing wrong with it just needs a little bit of a sharpen <coughs> but this but this screw has a little rubber seal which sits in there and held is held in place in a groove and that's usually quite well frequently it's degraded and that needs to be dug out and replaced with a new one so that's that can be quite difficult and we've had a uh, we found a seal that can take that place of that part of the rubber seal here and allows it to be replaced with a modern sealing material which is more durable and then it's all all reassembled that's all reassembled um, the rivet is replaced uh, new top caps put on and then eventually this is what you'll end up with something that looks like this this is an original type d soda side and head london pattern which just means it was made in london <coughs> essentially the same as the american ones which are usually what we call new york pattern some some minor differences in design of the components inside but they are essentially interchangeable um, slight differences in seal sizes so what we've replaced is the the bulb neck seal in there the pin's been sharpened the screw in there has been which forms the seal has been reconditioned we've replaced all the seals on this part put them all back in reassembled the spring compressed it all compressed it down with a cap and then carefully crimped that into place with a special tool probably similar to the one that they would have used originally but we're not sure because we don't know what they actually use haven't seen one and that is then placed onto a bottle onto one of the type d bottles so let's zoom out so that will be placed onto a type d bottle and then we go through several cycles of testing and what we do for the type d we do a very similar thing for the type c it's just this there's no non-return seal valve in here but there is a slightly different design of piercing pin assembly that needs to be worked on and for the streamlines well the design of the head in the streamline as you can see here is almost identical to the type d essentially it is it was just the type d was trans the design was transferred and slightly amended to form the streamline and then the development of that went on to the later streamline where the valve cartridge here was essentially the same as the one in the type d and the streamline but they made the head out of an injection molded plastic i think it's nylon but essentially it's the same same basic design inside and this will actually fit on the streamline body so that would actually fit on there so essentially they're the same so i think that really brings this this uh, video to a close there's an explanation of 
what uh, we do and what, to, what you can see inside um, the Type-C, Type-D uh, early streamline and middle range streamline soda siphons uh, from Sparklers. Thank you very much.